Hey everyone, welcome back to Pabli again and in this video I am going to show how you can automatically send image links on WhatsApp. So guys, here you can see on my screen, this is the flow of our automation. Here we have used Jot form to create a kind of inquiry form. In place of Jot form, you can use any other application like Google form or type form or Pabli form builder. And here, as in when any person is going to submit this form, we are going to send an image link to that same person automatically on WhatsApp. And in that image link, you can send a flyer, you can send a poster, you can send a brochure and anything that you want. And guys, you don't have to manually send those messages as in when any person is going to fill the form, these messages will be delivered automatically. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, now let me show you how you can also set up this automation. So to set up this automation, guys, first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application. And to reach here, you can use this link, pabli.com slash connect. And we have pasted the same in the description as well. From here, you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes by clicking on the sign up free button. All right, so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard. And guys, here you have to create a workflow of automation. For that, just click on this create workflow button. And here you can give any relevant name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here, Jot Form to WhatsApp Automation, okay. So after filling the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this is the basic building blocks of our automation. Trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start the running of the workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be submission of a form that we have created with the help of Jot form. And the action towards that trigger would be to send a WhatsApp message to the person who have filled the form, right? So first of all, we need to set up the tr trigger. So from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application as Jot form. Okay, this is it selected. And here in the trigger event, guys, we have new response option selected. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL, guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with our form. And after that, we are going to capture the response of that Vabo connection that we are creating here. So you need to follow these instructions written here to make this connection. Let me show you how exactly you can do that. So guys, this is my Jot form applications dashboard. And here I have created all these forms. And for this use case, I'm using this form guys. So it's a form I have created for a hair transplant clinic. I can show you the form also. This is a kind of a you can see inquiry form I have created and it is written here. Please this, please fill this form to get out the brochure on your WhatsApp number, right? So guys here I have selected this form. Now click on more option and from here click on settings of the form. Here you will find form setting, click on it. And under the form settings guys, you will see this integrations option in the left hand side panel, click on it. And here you have to search for webhooks option from the search bar. So it will show you this tab, click on webhooks. And here you can see an integration is already up and running. So let me remove this integration. Okay, let me search for webhooks again. Okay, now it will show you this field, add webhook field. So here you have to copy and paste this URL. So just copy it first and paste it here, sorry, here in this add webhook field like this, okay. We have to paste it carefully. Do not uh, paste the HTTPS thing two times, okay. Right, this is how you can paste it and now click on complete integration and you can see the integration is ready. And here you can see guys in your workflow, as I have copied the webhook URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhook's response. So this means now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means we need to fill the form manually here on the behalf of any demo customer or a sample customer. And we are going to capture the response here and that will act as a test response for us. And with the help of that test data, we are going to move forward, right? So this is my form guys. Here, let me fill in the details. So let's say Chris 
Harris is filling this form. The email ID of this person is this. And here I'm going to put the WhatsApp number like this. Right? And I'm submitting this form. And you can see it is showing thank you. Your submission has been received. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of this form submission. And here you can see in this response section, we got the data like this. And here it is showing the name of the person, Chris Harris, the email ID, the mobile number or the WhatsApp number, all things are here. So guys, uh, after getting this form submission, we want to send a brochure of our business to this person. So here I have created this brochure and I have uploaded it on my website, on my WordPress website. Okay. So I want to send this brochure, right? For that to happen, use this action step and from here search for WhatsApp's cloud API. All right. So the cloud API is the recently launched feature by platform by Facebook for giving the access of WhatsApp's application programming interface to businesses and to people so that they can connect their numbers with the API of WhatsApp and send transactional messages to their customers on WhatsApp. All right. So first of all, you need to set up your cloud API inside Meta for developers page. And after that, you can use this feature here. So guys, if you want to know how to set up your cloud API for WhatsApp, you can watch the videos from the description where we have clearly explained the whole procedure of setting up the cloud API of WhatsApp. And after that, you can use it here. And here in this action event, you can, uh, I'm going to use this send template message option. Okay. And after selecting the event, click on connect. And from this window, if you are making the connection with the cloud API setup of WhatsApp for the very first time, you have to select this add new connection option. And here you can give a name to this connection as well from this new connection name field. And here it will ask for the permanent token of your cloud API setup, the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. Okay. So if you want to know more about these things and how to make the connections inside Pabli connect for the cloud API setup of WhatsApp, you can just click here on this here word you can see in blue color and you will reach the forum page of Pabli. The, uh, this one. And here you will find these two videos. First, first video is for how to set up the WhatsApp cloud API inside Pavli Connect. Second video is for generating the permanent token for cloud API setup. And then you will find these steps along with these screenshots to connect the WhatsApp cloud API in the trigger and in the action inside your workflows. Okay. So you can get to know everything here. And for these th three things, guys, I can show you where you can find these things. So guys, here I am on Meta for developers page. Here I have created an application and I'm under WhatsApp's getting started page and under the getting started page, you will get the temporary access token first. So guys, first they gave you temporary tokens, but these tokens expires in 24 hours. So you need to generate a permanent access token. And if you want to know how to do that, you can watch the videos from the description or from this forum page only where we have this video on generating the permanent access token of WhatsApp's cloud API, right? So guys, uh, by watching this, you can generate the token and you have to keep the permanent access token safe because we are going to use the same token again to make the connections, right? So generating after generating the token, copy that and paste it here. Okay. And similarly, you will find the phone number ID here like this. You can just copy it from here and paste it here. And you will find the business account ID also here. So you can copy it and paste it here in your workflow. All right. And after filling all these things, you just have to click on save and you will be connected with your cloud API setup of WhatsApp, right? And the connection that you have just made here by following this process is a one time process guys, because the connection is going to be saved here in your account. Okay. And if you want to make the connection again in a different workflow in future, you can use that existing connection only that you have created previously. Okay. So guys, I have already made many connections with my cloud API setup of WhatsApp in different workflows previously. So I can use my existing connections. Let me show you how you can see here. We have this option select existing connections. So you can just click on it and here it will show you, show you the list of all the existing connections that you have in the select connections option. So when you click here, you can see the list of all the existing connections from here. You can select any one of your connection. I am selecting this one and now I just have to click on save and you can see we are getting connected here. So we are connected again 
and here it is asking for the message templates name that you want to use to send messages on WhatsApp. So guys, message templates are pre-created standard message structures that you have to create and get it approved beforehand by Facebook. And after that, you can use those templates here to send automated messages on WhatsApp. And if you want to know how to create message templates, you can watch the video from the description guys, where we have thoroughly explained everything about the creation of message template and getting the approval, right? So guys, let me show you the message template section uh, guy uh, from my cloud API setup. Here you can see we have this send a messages with the API step. Here it is written to create your own message template, click here. So when you click on this here word, you will reach the message template section. So these are the approved message templates I have guys already in my cloud API setup. And for this purpose, for sending an image link on WhatsApp, I have created this template. I can show you the name of this template is send brochure IMG. And this is the preview of this message. Let me show you here. You can see. So this is how this message is going to look like when we are going to send it on WhatsApp. Here, the person is going to find our brochure. And here it is written, hello, Roger Binney. So Roger Binney is any sample name for any customer. Thanks for showing your interest. One of our team members will contact you shortly. Meanwhile, you can check our brochure, which we have attached with the message. For more details, you can visit the website. Okay, so this is the kind of message I have created. You can customize your message according to your need. And here guys, in the message, you can see I have this uh, brochure attached here. And in place of this, uh, after hello, we have this name of the person. So guys, this thing, the name of the person is a variable thing in our message. And that is going to change with every new message according to the form submission we are receiving from different people. So to get that thing changed automatically and dynamically in every new message, we need to map, we need to place some variable tags or the body fields inside our message template. If you want to know about these things in detail, you can watch the video from the description. For now, I can show you this is how a message tag a variable tag looks like inside your message body. You can see this one in double curly braces. This is a body field or a variable tag. And we have two tags here. You can see actually we have three body fields here. Okay. So you have to place these body fields accordingly properly here in your message template to get some things change accordingly automatically in every new message. Okay. So guys here, let me first select my message template from this templates name list. Here you can see we have these, all these approved templates from here. I'm going to select this message template, uh, the name of which is sand brochure. Okay. So let me type it here. Okay. This is it. Sand brochure IMG. I'm selecting it. And now guys, you have to come to this field recipient mobile number and here you have to map the WhatsApp number of your customer who have filled your form. And you can see we have received this mobile number label here in which we got the data of the WhatsApp number. So I'm going to use this label guys to map the mobile number or WhatsApp number here. So just click here on this field and it will show you the job form step in the drop down. And from here only you can see all the data that you have received. And from here, let me map the mobile number or the WhatsApp number, right? Now it is asking for the header images URL. So you can see, I, I am going to send a image in the header section here in the message. So we need to map the value or the link of this image here inside our workflow to send the image. So guys, I have uploaded my image, my brochure on my website here. So here is the link of my image. So I'm just copying this link and I'm going to paste this link here in this header image URL section. And now it is asking for the body field one, two, and three. So I have already shown you that in my message template, I have three body fields. First is for the name of the customer. Second is for the website address and third is for uh, the name of the business. Okay. So to get these to get the values of these body fields changed dynamically with every new message, we need to map the values of these body fields here in our workflow. So let's map the data. So for the first body field, we are going to name, we are going to map the name of, a, of my customer who have filled our form. So we'll find the name label here, just map it. 
let me map the full name in the second body field you can enter your website address for now i am entering uh, www.pabli.com just for showing you the demo okay and the third body field let me just uh, uh, you can enter your business's name so let's say my business's name is hair care clinic okay just to show you the example i'm writing this and the things that you are putting here manually are not going to change the thing that you are mapping here are going to change like the name of the person these things are not going to change because we have put the things here manually and generally the name of the business and the website address will be the same so you can put the things manually also and guys we are done filling the required details now and now you can check your connection with whatsapp by clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered to this whatsapp number and guys i actually have the access of this whatsapp account so i can show you the message so i'm clicking here on save and send test request and this is the response we have received let me show you the message now so guys you can see this is the message we have received it is showing hello chris harris thank you for showing your interest so you can see in place of the name body field we got the name of the person here you can see we have the header in the header we have the brochure link or the image that we have created and here you can see we have this website address here and in the third body field we have hair care clinic name placed okay so all the body fields are filled here okay that we have in my message body and this is how it is going to work and our connection is working fine with whatsapp so that's how you can send messages on whatsapp guys automatically and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually here after that, as and when any person is going to fill and submit your form, these kinds of WhatsApp messages will be delivered to them automatically. And the good part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel